Hey guys, it's Tia. I'm at my basic surgery hospital right now. I'm like so nervous. I don't know if you guys have seen like my previous surgery video, like when I did my double eyelid surgery, but I'm like so much more nervous about doing my laser surgery than my double eyelid. wearing glasses and like lenses for my whole life already like I started wearing glasses when I was in second grade and I've been wearing my contact lens for 10 years so yeah I'm just <laughs> trying to not wear these anymore it's like fogging up with these masks too so super annoying it's actually been a very rushed process originally I wanted to get it done in December but suddenly I realize that with this Chuseok holiday, like the mid-autumn festival holiday, I do get like five days off in a row. Yeah, last week I had consultation at three different hospitals and then I had one like the week before that. I have like really high nearsightedness and I have astigmatism and I also have thin cornea and apparently my pupil size is kind of big for nighttime. All of this makes it a lot harder to get like a safe and like low-risk surgery. With the thin cornea, I wasn't qualified for a LASIK or SMILE, so I was only qualified for a LASIK and ICL. ICL is where they implant a lens instead of like, you know, cutting your cornea or like removing your cornea. So ICL is supposed to be the safest because it's also reversible, but with LASIK, once I do it, because my cornea is so thin, I'm not able to get a resurgery if anything goes wrong. So. Yeah, this just makes it a lot more like nerve-wracking. So the surgeon I'm assigned to has a lot of like positive reviews from the like foreigner community. I think that speaks a lot. Like he's worked with a lot of foreigner eyes, I guess I can say. Right now it is surgery day and I already did like the other like basic checkups and I'm just waiting for my pupil to dilate so they can do a checkup again and they are also waiting for like a DNA test result. This is actually my like stats. The night people, if it's above seven apparently, or like above 7.5 is not that good and I'm like right at 7.2, 7.5. My cornea, if it's under 500, then it's bad, but I'm like right under 500. And I like read so many people's like reviews and they all have like 550 and like 600 and I'm like why are my cornea so thin? And I feel like it's because I've been wearing lenses for like 10 years and I rub my eyes a lot so that could be causes of like thin cornea so I don't really have anyone else to blame. This is how the clinic looks like. Marked my face for the stigmatism. <laughs> this to be like even. What is so? Huh? What the? It was all so. Chim chak boyo. Boy, then the video. うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
but sometimes the green light would disappear and it would just be like all white and it would feel like I was blind and that's when it was the scariest so yeah I mean I can't I've seen like videos where people like finish and they're like oh my god I can see it's so clear and then they like cry out of happiness but right now everything is actually really blurry so I can't even say like oh my god it's a successful surgery okay time to go home or like actually we might go to a cafe while the like anesthesia is still in effect so okay this is the day of surgery, I'm home now after like nap and dinner and my boyfriend is here like helping me with eye drops and stuff for today and wow just now we said we were gonna go to the cafe but we didn't first we went to like the glasses store to try and get like a pair of regular just blue light blocking glasses for work and stuff but I couldn't even last like 20 minutes the anesthesia wore off and then I started getting like a headache and my eyes started hurting so I had to get out of there and on the way home it was just a lot of like tears coming out and like snot coming out just like I ran out of tissues because everything was just like leaking and my whole mask was like wet because of all the tears pretty uncomfortable and in pain so I got home ate a little bit and used the eye drops and then went to sleep for like three hours right now i'm feeling a little bit better i think because i took some pain medication i'm using the eye drops every hour and two hours as it says on the directions so i'm actually feeling okay now i'm just watching my boyfriend make this model <laughs> not the best like recovery activity for lasik but yeah it's okay, I can't really do anything else anyway. Look at him. It's so funny. Like, look at his face. <laughs> his eye keeps like shifting around. So funny. Oh my god. This is like eerie because I just had eye surgery and now I'm just like touching his eye. Nah, you don't go ahead of him. I don't think it's a good thing. This is the PRP. That's my, oh, that's my name. The one I said before, the yellow one, is an anti inflammatory. The pink one was antibiotics. Have to wait. Five minutes between each so since I just put this I have to put these two in a little bit this have to put it back into the fridge these are now another two hours before I use them and the PRP will be one hour hey guys this is like two days after the surgery my eyes are kind of like uncomfortable right now so I'm not even gonna open them I just wanted to update yesterday was the day right after surgery and it was actually pretty manageable like I wasn't in pain at all the whole day but I did lay in bed all day and just like listen to podcasts so the only time that I like really walked around was to make food and eat I even like went out at night when my boyfriend came and we like went out for a drive but actually when we went out like my eyes started getting comfortable so I don't know if it was because we went outside and like the outside like air I made it really uncomfortable when I got home after just being outside for like 30 minutes to an hour like my eyes was stinging so bad right when I got home it felt like I had like onions in my eyes like it was stinging and like itchy all of a sudden that was the only time that was uncomfortable this morning I just woke up and it's kind of like pressure in my eye right now but it's not too bad but it still is uncomfortable to like open my eyes so I did all my like eye drops already when I woke up actually usually when I sleep I use these goggles but it's like really bright out right now so I switched to sunglasses but this is how it looks like <laughs> like <laughs> I love funky but this is how I sleep like this with my pillow propped up yeah since I woke up, 
and it's bright out, I switched to sunglasses because it just feels a little bit better. I think I'm just gonna go back to sleep now and I'll wake up for like lunch and more eye drops in like a few hours. <laughs> Today is Friday, so about 9 days after my surgery and I'm going in for a checkup today and they're going to re remove the protective lens so technically I've been wearing lens for a week now and that's kind of why it doesn't feel like I had surgery it just feels like I've been wearing my lens this whole time this whole week I actually haven't been feeling that much pain like everyone keeps talking about how they feel like a gritty, sandy feeling but I haven't felt that at all and the only thing that's really uncomfortable is sometimes the light is really bright and I feel a headache like over here and when I look at like my computer screen it's still very like hazy, blurry I actually read somewhere that after she took off her protective lens her eyes got sensitive and like sandy again so we'll see if that's gonna happen after I take off the lens today so I just finished my checkup at the hospital and it only took like 5 minutes honestly so now I'm at a cafe because I have something at 2 and I have to wait an hour the taking out of the protective lens just kind of feels like you wore your contact lens to sleep and it dried up in the morning so you had to like peel it off like glue but other than that right now I don't feel any discomfort and I have another checkup in three weeks so yeah the lighting here is so bad this is like not any better but yeah, at the checkup, he didn't even like tell me anything about my eyes if it like is 2020 now or like 2015 or whatever. But I guess it has to stabilize, so maybe in three weeks that's what they're gonna tell me. So I mentioned how like for working, my eyes get really tired from looking at the screen and it's still hazy. So I actually bought a pair of blue light blocking glasses, and I don't know if it's supposed to help, but just wanted to like protect my eyes from blue light. And now yeah, I'll show you guys how I look at work which is kind of like oh I went from wearing glasses to getting the surgery so I don't have to wear glasses anymore and then now I'm wearing glasses again because blue light but yeah we'll see how long I keep up the habit <laughs> so it's been officially two months after my surgery I got my surgery September 30th and today is November 28th and I'm going in for my second checkup I think um Anyway, it's my post-op two-month checkup. Actually, yeah, this is my third checkup because seven days after they took out the lens and then I went again maybe like three weeks or a month after where they just checked for my eyesight and see how it's progressing. And I don't know if I showed you guys this card. This is my examination card. So then they write all of my like details here. So I do have like my surgery date and then name and who my doctor was. Um, All my nurses I don't even know who they are but um, so my operation type was the standard zero LASIK plus extra this was my pre-surgery stats I guess and then this is how my eyesight was after a month and they're probably going to update it again today and see how my eyesight is doing they said it's gonna keep getting better and better but I don't know I feel like because I'm looking at computers and phone all day for work and just for my life in general yeah, I'm kind of worried. In my mind, I feel like it's getting worse or like it's not as optimal as it should be. You know how I got these like blue light glasses? I did bring it to the appointment and ask my doctor, will these help prevent my eyesight from getting worse again? And he said, no, like the eyes will just do what it wants. But these glasses only prevent my eyes from getting tired. And yeah, like if it's gonna get worse again, it's just gonna get worse again. I was afraid that there might be more side effects or like my eyes would be tired, but I have never felt any like pain throughout my whole recovery process. Sandy grittiness that people talked about, I never felt that. And I don't really have a lot of dry eye issue right now. I feel like because my eyes are always dry, on all of my tests for like consultation, they said my eyes were really dry, like my tear creation was very low. So I think because I was so used to that, my eyes just didn't feel extra uncomfortable from being dry. And yeah, like I have a whole box of artificial tears and I still haven't really used it. Yeah, that's my experience so far. 
Before I start, I do want to say that the prices do include the cross-linking procedure, which strengthens the cornea again. They also include PRP, which is the platelet eye drops, as well as the DNA test, which checks for if I will have some sort of side effect that is only caused by laser. So the first clinic that I went to, it's about 1.9 million won and they do include all of that plus one month free of eye drops. Eye drops itself aren't even that expensive. I think it's like 40k won, which is like 40 bucks. And then the week after I went to three different clinics, the first place that I went to was the one that I've decided to get my surgery at. And the price for that clinic was 1,120k won and that was, like I said, the standard zero plus the extra stuff. And then the second clinic that I went to that day, they said the price would be the same as the first clinic that I went to, which is 1.9 million. But this doesn't include the DNA test. So a lot of clinics I went to and a lot of people that I asked, they said that the DNA test is a must because it's just not detectable until like after the laser unless you get the DNA test. So I asked why they don't provide it and they said that my eyes are just like they're fine. They can see it from other testing, I guess, that I wouldn't have that side effect. That was actually one reason I didn't want to go with that hospital because I just felt very like insecure and like not reassured that they're not doing the DNA test but everyone else is doing it, so. And then the last hospital that I went to was actually the least foreigner friendly. It's not that it's not friendly, it's just that it's not as known amongst the foreigner community and most of their like patients are just Koreans and their staff speaks Korean only so there's no one to help with English speakers. I took a video of it and it's like a very nice hospital and very bright. Definitely looks like they make a lot of money and they have treated a lot of celebrities and it's very safe I feel like but they just gave me a vibe where they're just not friendly actually. Yeah, so I take it back. They kind of aren't that friendly. Like the nurse that I had was kind of bitchy. And then someone else was like in charge of explaining stuff to me and then he got a little bit pushy afterward and I just like didn't even respond to his message because like, I don't know, their vibe was just a little bit weird. But they were the cheapest. Their price was 1.7 million won. But they do charge for the consultations after surgery. So each consultation is about 10k won, which is like 10 bucks. But if you go on weekends or like after work in the evening, then it would be 30k won, which is 30 bucks. Because I can't go on weekdays during work hours, so I can only go after work or on weekends. So if I add it all up, which is about six times, you have to go once every month, the total would be about 1 million 800. 80. So actually the price is the same after you add up all the checkup fees because the other clinics don't charge for the checkup. If I was really just worried about price then I would have probably went to the last hospital. It is more Korean so I could feel like oh I'm getting like the real Korean experience but I don't know because of the vibe they gave me I just went with the one that I went to. I don't know if that was really confusing with all the numbers. If there are any questions, please DM me and I'll try to answer you guys. I hope this was useful for you guys. I think it will be very interesting for me to look back on when I had glasses and now I don't have glasses. So yeah, remember to like and subscribe, follow my Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!